Hello, wonderful people. It's Loretta. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is block number nine in my Grand Tour Crazy Quilt. Um, the nine of 24. Uh, if you have not seen the other eight, feel free to go look them up. Sorry, there's a little bit of sun here on this. But it's hard for me to get away from it. <laughs> Funny how that works. The sun just, you know, it is where it is. <laughs> Um, so this block is a little bit different, I think, than the other blocks in the sense that it's not quite as three-dimensional, like, you know, the, the other blocks I've got, um, gloves on, or I've got, you know, on them, or I've got, uh, like, hankies sticking up or something. They, they feel a little more three-dimensional where this one is, um, not. But anyway, uh, so I will start in this corner up here. Let's see. Look at that. I got it to go in the right direction. <laughs> First try. So up here I did, so this is a damask fabric here. I did a buttonhole stitch and then I did uh, a, like a lazy daisy with a stem. And then I did like a double X to make it look like upside down flowers. Um, <clears throat> here is a... Uh, Ginkgo leaf, you might have seen me do a couple. I've done these on other projects. Um, uh, they're made using the brick stitch with delicas. And uh, since the image is Notre Dame, which is a Catholic church, I thought I would put a St. Christopher medal on here. In fact, I think this is my husband's. It's really old. And it's sort of like a clover leaf, uh, St. Christopher. I mean, it's not really old. It's, um, it's I don't like, 30 years old. It's not like super old. Um, however, the this lace trim is very old and this is all one piece and I thought um, I would just put the whole thing on there. Uh, it's a little stained up but I don't care. Uh, that doesn't bother me. Um, I, it must have been originally, you know, like the trim on uh, maybe a small pillowcase or a, a, a table topper or something like that or m maybe possibly even a dress like part of the collar or something but anyway I just it's really delicate and old so I thought I would put it on on there uh, to the right of Notre Dame I've got a feather stitch with um, pink size 11 seed beads and then uh, I really like this fabric a lot. I don't know why. I think I got that at Joann's. And then up here, this is probably the one mistake that I made on the block that I wish I had done differently, and that is this sort of um, undulating little stitch. It's a stem stitch that I did in, in this undulation. Um, I, I don't think the thread is the right color. It just sort of it disappears into the block. So if I had it to do over again, I would pick a different color. But, <laughs> and I don't know why I didn't notice that it really wasn't like standing out until after I had the whole thing done. But I, it could have been too that I was thinking I was going to do something else with it, like may, maybe leaves or something. So I thought, oh, it'll work. But then I didn't. So, anyway, on each one of the hills, I've got uh, like a, a three pronged stem stitch with. Uh, some size 11 seed beads and then on the opposite side I've got a sequence and a little 11 seed bead and then when you get down here to this corner I've got a Cretan stitch going on here and then I did a lazy daisy with some silk ribbon I think it was a two millimeter silk ribbon and then I did a little seed bead in between each one of uh, the lazy daisies and then I did some flower sequins and then um, here, this was a ton of fun. This is, uh, so I got some fabric, I think it was at Joann's, uh, that had different queens on it, and it had, I guess, um, I don't know, it was, it was kind of Paris-themed, though, because it was pink, but it had some gold stamp on it, and it had these little queen, several different queens on there. So anyway, I cut one of them out, and I put it on top of, I know, you can see this tatting right here, it's a very small tatted, um, 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 what do you call it? I, I guess just like a little 
doily. The middle part was solid cotton, and then this was the trim around it. But it's just so small that you think, what on earth could you possibly sit on it? I guess maybe candlesticks. You know, that's the only thing I can think of because it was it's so tiny. Um, anyway, so I love the way the the tatting sort of really like a halo almost it really frames it well and then I put another piece of trim here and then I put a sequence with Chinese crystals all around and then here this is a lucite flower with some buttons and some freshwater pearls and uh, I really liked the way that that turned out so then over here is a piece of the the trim I got from that dealer in Houston. So it's a little piece of French trim, and I uh, put some pink seed beads on it. Down here in this corner is a variation on a buttonhole stitch. It's where you actually make them three different lengths instead of all the same length, and then I just topped them off with, the, with some seed beads. So that is basically it. Oops, there we go. So yeah, so I really like this block quite a bit. Uh, like I said, it's, it has a little different feel than the other ones, which is fine. You don't want them all exactly the same or else nothing, uh, you know, nothing stands out and it just all runs together. So that's block number eight. So for next time, blocks num block number nine, this is going to be block number nine. I have already put a piece of very, very, very old trim on here. Um, sometimes when I do my blocks, I will, if I know for sure, I want a piece of uh, trim that's a pretty big, chunky piece of trim to go somewhere on there, I will go ahead and sew it in as I'm sewing the rest of the block, and that is what I did here. So it's not been tacked down yet, but I'm sure I'm going to put something on top of that, um, as I probably will do something over here, because this is very dark, and it's a pretty big piece. So, yeah, I love this. This is an old curtain. Um, this is a, just a piece of cotton that I tea-dyed, and some of my hand-stamped fabric down here. Uh, most of this is cotton, except for this damask and this uh, curtain. So... Uh, and that was the other reason I put this big, I went on ahead and put this big piece of trim down is because the fabric underneath was really, um, very vibrant and much more so than most of the other fabrics in the quilt. And so I didn't want it sticking out, you know, really badly. So anyway, this will be block number 10 and this is block number nine. So, uh, thanks for coming along with me on this journey and spending a little bit of time with me today. Uh, if you want to see the other blocks, I have uh, other videos up. I also have a tutorial on how I do my um, flip and sew method. And then, of course, I have uh, junk journal uh, videos and some beading videos. Uh, I'm working on trying to figure out how to actually craft um, on, on my videos, uh, but it's really hard because I have to stand up and look through the camera, so it, I can't quite figure out <laughs> how to uh, to actually... I mean, I, I have, like, a big camera. I'm not using a phone, so I, I don't have anything that I can, like, use to hang it with, hang my phone with or anything. So, because, like, a regular clamp just won't work. So, anyway, not that you cared about any of that. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, thanks again, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.